Okay, now this is like a government paid agent um, who looks as if he's been uh, living in a chemtrail plane for about 10 years because uh, his skin's practically peeling off him. Either that or he's probably one of these uh, aliens like created in a lab people and he, he just he just pops out his little pod and makes YouTube videos. Uh, here he is. Are airplanes secretly spraying toxic chemicals yes, into the sky? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Bullshit Busted. Throughout history, people have been afraid of things they don't understand, like comic books, bicycles, weed, vaginas, the list goes on and on. Well, I got news for you, son. That wasn't a vagina, and you're probably a Catholic. Thankfully, over time as new information comes out, these unfounded fears often fade into oblivion. But I've Now, he has a wicked looking face, man. Check that out. If that guy's not an alien or some kind of reptilian, I don't know what it is. I mean, look at that. It looks a cross between Bugs Bunny and Dracula. Ever since the mid-90s, there's been a conspiracy theory that just won't seem to go away. Now, that bit was from Terminator. You know, when the Terminator waves his finger and all that, and, oh, it, it won't just go away. We can't get rid of uh, Arnie there, you know? Yeah. Um, you'd love to get rid of the chemtrail theory because um, I tell you what um, if people if so many people are waking up to it and they start just, just walking in to uh, courtrooms and just deciding that they want to sue the government for what they put into these things then guess what these little idiots would just disappear off the internet wouldn't they but these guys are getting an income from this you see they're getting a nice little tidy income from it. And they're paid agents, that's what they are. Paid government agents. So they're making people who obviously have researched it, obviously know what's going on, and trying to make them look like idiots. You know? We remember when we were kids, we looked up at the sky. The clouds were never as, uh, never like the way they are just now. And you're getting the chem clouds. You're getting the chem bows as well. All kind of stuff happening which uh, we didn't experience. You're getting trees just dying um, right in front of us. No explanation. No explanation at all. All they do is just go out and plant new trees, and within maybe ten years, these trees are dying as well because of these bad boys and this little idiot is trying to cover it up you know it's actually called uh, geoengineering that's that's the proper name for it he doesn't go into it because he's trying to discredit it but the, the governments of the world have admitted that they're actually doing geoengineering but the guy doesn't the, the guy doesn't mention this once you see and this is the least likely story that it will be but they keep on trying to push that it's uh, a difference of atmospheric pressures and they call it dry patches fuel dumping anything but what it is anything but what it is I wouldn't be surprised even if he says it's actually aliens I, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets to the stage where uh, these chemtrail debunkers just say that it's aliens up in the sky um, running around and we don't know what they are we don't know what the things are that's coming out the back of the, the planes but when it's scientifically proven and that these little idiots actually overlook the scientific proof that many thousands of independent scientists have actually done on these chemtrails um, and we've showed you a list of them that there's uh, dozens of soft and hard metals within these which are destroying crops, trees, going into the waters, going into the food chain and this guy is basically just working for Satan. Whether he realizes it or not, he's working for Satan. He's of the spirit of the air, he's of the spirit of Satan. I mean look at some of the faces the guy pulls, he's demon possessed, clearly. Look at this guy, look at him. He's Bugs Bunny versus Dracula, this guy. I mean, ooh, Kemp, that, was, that was really scary. I really got scared there. I wonder what he was doing. 
That's what a cam trail is. That's right, sir. Yeah. Nothing to do with condensation trails or no, nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. They're spraying the sky. This is what cam trails is. Yes, that's correct. They've been doing it since the Second World War. That's correct. The more planes in the sky, the more cam trails. So he lays out all the obvious stuff and um, tries to debunk it, which, uh, to be honest, the more data he's putting up there, the more liable he is to get sued by someone that knows what they're talking about. And that's a fact. The guy is just liable to get sued, but he's probably not even a human being. So, you know, he's one of these government agents. You'll never find out who he is. He's just like Nate. Nate talks to you, whoever Nate is. Yeah, I mean, these are all um, proven pictures uh, within the passenger airlines that they go up and they'll spray the deep cam trails and the black cam trails, which we did the other day. Um, which is, yes, it's uh, fly ash mixed in with many other things. Even uranium found in certain cam trails as well. And this guy's getting sprayed with it all the time and he's dying and he's letting these people get away with it for 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 a little pay packet you know just just for just for a couple of quid in the bank and he's letting these criminals get away with it look at the evil face that he pulls on wicked wicked guy man little wicked face he's got man look at that evil i mean look at i mean Obviously, this is like for putting out um, fires and so on. Yeah, we know that. I mean, what's this to do with chemtrails? Seriously, what's he actually there has saying? As a pressurized here? drop system, that is the safest and most effective of all the current for chemtrails. Of course, it is. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. But we still have to cover claim number five. Claim View number five. The oh, this this was some some Spring government paid something. agent again. I mean, this could could have been a cam trail. It, it, it could be, but apparently, uh, the guy takes pictures of it and then later on says it was a joke. You know, does this look like a joke? Am I missing something? So later on, the guy that took the the pictures of this from from the actual plane that he was in um, just says it was a joke. <laughs> I mean, it's some joke. I mean, there's obviously something coming out of that. To the sky. Oh shit, they got me now. How do I debunk this one? Well, probably the best thing to do would be to admit that chemtrails are real. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to do that, man.